Hello, welcome or welcome back to True Seekers Tea. My name is Kate, if you are new here, but welcome back for those of you that are returning. As always, I appreciate all of your guys' time that you spend with me on this channel, so thank you for being here. We're gonna be looking at essentially you versus your person, um, a basic thoughts and feelings, reading, checking in with whatever situation is most prominent on your mind. And we will be doing a extended reading that will be different for every pile. So stay tuned for that. If you guys feel like it's really resonating with you and you want to hear more, I will have the Vimeo link in the description box um, right above the timestamps. So let's get into the pile selection. There are three piles to choose from as usual. For pile number one, we have the queer tarot with this black tourmaline Black Obsidian Crystal. I, I get these messed up. I'm going to get it messed up again at your pile, but it just happens. Anyways, we have Breeze Third Eye Tarot with the Blue Calcite Palm Stone. And then for pile number three, we have the Light Sears Tarot with this Green Fluorite Palm Stone. So go ahead and take whatever time you need to tune into what pile you're feeling the most drawn to. As always, I'll have the timestamps linked down below the names of these decks in case you guys are interested in them and any other information about me. And as always, if you find that these readings are resonating with you, a way that you can help me better connect with your energy and your specific situation in the future is through liking and commenting on these videos so we can kind of have that exchange of energy. So I think that is all I have. I will see you at your pile. Hello, pile number one. Welcome to your reading. If you chose the queer tarot and this black obsidian crystal, I always wonder if it's obsidian, black obsidian or tourmaline. So I definitely think it's black obsidian, but I sometimes get them mixed up. But anyways, welcome to your reading. We're going to be doing a pretty standard you versus them thoughts, feelings, um, intentions slash desires. And then for the extended reading, I really want to be looking into like, where is this connection going? Is this something that's meant to turn into a long-term connection? Or is there a lesson that is meant to be learned um, before you can kind of get to a more solid connection with a person? So I'll have that link down below if you guys are interested. But for now, I just want to get a foundation started where we're tuning into the connection. So Spirit, please tune me in to pile number one's energy. Please tune me into the connection that is the most relevant to pile number one's heart and mind, what they need the most clarity on. All right. What are pile number one's current thoughts about their person? What are their thoughts like? The Knight of Swords. We have the Four of Cups. And we have the Star. Okay, so I feel like I'm getting an energy where it's interesting that the Knight of Swords is here because the Knight of Swords is a very strong and assertive energy. Um, but it's interesting that it's running in the other direction. And so I feel like there's your thoughts about this person could center around wanting clarity. Like, I feel like you may want to just approach this person and say something very like straight up to them. Um, I feel like you may there's kind of like a one foot in the door, one foot out, because there's this sense of, some of you guys might have anxious avoidant attachment because that's kind of like what I'm picking up here. Um, where it could be a situation, like I think you, you're, you're interested in this person and I think you do have hope for the connection, but there's this part of you that's like, if you aren't interested in me, look how quickly I'll run in the other direction but also there's a part of you that does have hope for the connection. So in your thoughts, it's like, 
I want to hope that things will get better or that there'll be more action. You may be disappointed with the amount of communication or even just like action. Like, because the Four of Cups is a very apathetic energy where, especially if this is more representing your person, it's this energy where you might feel like they're kind of disengaged or like not intentional enough. But with the star, it's like you still have hope in your thoughts. Let's get some more just to get the full picture. Yeah, but with the Ace of Cups here, yeah, in reverse. And then we also have the, the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, so what I'm getting is there's this sense here of feeling like you need more content from this person or you need, like, it's, it's going to get depleting for you if, if there isn't more of an equal give and take. Um, and with the King of Swords, I'm kind of seeing this as getting more logical. And like, that's also the Knight of Swords here, where it's like this energy of being optimistic, cautiously optimistic, is what I would say. But like, I, a part of you, though, I feel like there's this energy where if this person, if you find out like clear as day that this person isn't interested, you're not going to put your energy in it anymore. But I feel like there is this sense of maybe things could get better or maybe... Maybe this is like a temporary energy with these two being minor arcana and this being the overall energy. So I feel like in your thoughts, you could see this going in a more positive direction, but you definitely think there would need to be shifts. And maybe you think this person needs some kind of healing as well. All right. What are pile number one's feelings currently for their person? We have death in reverse. And I keep, I'm hearing the song right now. Um, I, I hear this song kind of a lot, so I, I didn't know if it was related to the reading. I'm just going to throw it out there, though. Um, I'm hearing um, Somebody Else by the 1975, I think that's the name. Um, I keep hearing the line that's like, I should be getting over it. Um, I don't want your body, but I hate to see your body with somebody else. So yeah, and your feelings with the death in reverse. <clears throat> Let me get some more. Let me get some more. We have the Emperor in reverse. What are pile number one's feelings? We have the Queen of Cups in reverse. Okay, and the Ten of Swords. So I'm seeing also that the Four of Cups may be relating to your energy as well, because this is a more heavy energy coming through here where I think you're healing. Your thoughts are about... This is giving me a full picture. So with the Ten of Swords here, I'm really getting and then the moon at the back of the deck. This seem, feels like more of a triggering connection now because there's a sense of... um With the Queen of Cups in reverse, I definitely think this is someone who you felt emotionally depleted on. Like you've shown them more of your emotions or you haven't gotten back what you've given in this connection for sure. And you may like be feeling this energy of I'm not going to be the person who's putting the energy into this anymore. Like if you want this to get better, which I don't know if it can with the Ten of Swords, in your feelings, you could be feeling like the situation is over, especially for those of you that are in separation with this person. Um, you guys could just be, there's, I'm sensing some frustration or some like anger even, or like, but it comes after a sense of feeling like you didn't get what you deserve in the situation. And it almost feels like there's unfinished business with the star and the death in reverse. Like, so in your thoughts, there's a sense here of I, I'm getting this energy where it's like, okay, if this person is not going to be giving, then, and that's where I'm getting the anxious avoidant, where it's like, then I'm going to go into my avoidant mode. Like, oh, did you think that um, not... Did you think that this was going to pan out by me continuing to be giving and nurturing and kind? Think twice because that's actually not the way I am. Like, that's what I'm picking up on from your energy. It's like, I'm actually going to run the other direction. Deep down, I think there is this feeling of tenderness that you still have, especially with the Queen of Cups. But I think you're protecting yourself through, which I don't disagree with, which there's no judgment. It's just like, it just feels like it's a protective mechanism to prevent any further hurt in this situation. 
But yeah, with death in reverse, there's a sense here of feeling like it's hard for you to move on, but you also don't want to be the one to try to resolve things is what I'm getting because yeah, with the emperor in reverse, it's almost this energy of I'm not going to take responsibility for someone else's situation. Like I feel like you think this person needs to take accountability and be more proactive or else you're going to feel like this is just like a dead end. Like this is just kind of like the end of a situation. And I feel like you guys are feeling like it could be that. Like either this person comes and heals things, but you're not going to chase it. And if it stays in this energy, it's like you have no choice but to kind of accept an ending here. Let's see what, what do you currently want though? What does pal number one want in this connection? What are their current desires? What do they want when it comes to their person? The Three of Swords. Oh, now I'm hearing Olivia uh, Rodrigo. I don't even know the name of the song, but it's like, like, I think I want to kiss his face with an uppercut. Yeah, I'm, I want to tell, meet his mom to tell him your um, son sucks. And it's like, I want to get him back. I want to make him really mad. But it, like the whole song is almost like, I want my like sweet revenge. I want him again. So there's kind of like that Olivia Rodrigo energy here where there's, it's like you're kind of processing the pain that the person has caused through that kind of angsty energy. And, but at the end of the day, there's kind of this softness where it's like, but if this person showed up on my doorstep with like roses and took accountability for everything, you know, I might be willing over time to like let it let them in but there is just this sense of feeling yeah pretty frustrated is what I'm getting so what does pal number one want when it comes to this connection I think you want an apology with the page of cups here or you want this person to make some kind of a gesture towards you I think you want an apology honestly and yeah we have the six of wands in reverse underneath I think this person didn't give you the recognition you deserve or it's like that you may you feel like you were not you got like the short end of the sick or you weren't you were honored in this connection and it just feels like you're in that energy of like this just like sucks now because I cared about this person but I feel like there's kind of been enough like red flags or there's been enough to make me feel like what am I going to do with these emotions that I still have for this person and it's almost like kind of processing those through some like anger which can be good because or not good necessarily but I feel like it's kind of you're, you're in this place where it's like there's anger and love still like you don't actually want anything bad to happen to this person it's just that it's almost like resenting your feelings for them like you know when you feel just frustrated that a person has like control over you in any way even though you know that we have the ten of swords here like we know that we're not happy in the situation and we know that we deserve better but it's like why does this person have like a special hold over me almost all right what else does pile number one want yeah the seven of wands look at this you guys yeah there's an energy here of you guys are abs yeah ten of wands yeah i'm getting this 100 percent. so i'm seeing this as confirmation that you guys are in this energy of wanting to stand your ground not wanting anyone to you're not going to let this person make you, even if though it hurts, like I think what's going on with this person, you're still standing strong in your like values and like what you know you deserve and rightfully so in my opinion. And so with the 10 of wands in reverse, it's also like you're, you're not willing to put more, you're giving up responsibility here because it's just not worth it. Yeah. With the nine of wands. Yeah. And the seven of pentacles, it's just this energy of like, I've already invested my energy into this and it's getting to a point where I'm no law it's actually going to be an insult to me or it's going to devalue me to to be to have someone let me like to make for someone to make, make me feel this way you're just not allowing your feelings for the person to allow you to be you're not allowing yourself to betray yourself is what I'm getting or that's like the focus for you right now especially with the Knight of Swords. I think there's like a stubborn, headstrong energy, which I totally get. I love that for you guys. I would much rather that than, or I mean, I don't know. In my opinion, it doesn't matter, but I'm just saying, I think you are right in, this is my opinion. And I think your spirit teams, just because 
it depends on how far you'll go with it. Like, I definitely think that it's also going to be important to process your feelings of frustration. And I can see it going both ways. But I'm just, like, here right now, like, as a friend, like, yes. That's what I would say if I was your friend. But as, like, a reader now, I'm kind of like, okay. It feels like this is how you're processing a difficult situation. And how we do that is fine, you know. And it just depends on how well we're able to move through that in the future. But anyways, let's get into your person's energy. I can't, I don't want to use this deck for them. I was going to use a certain deck, but I feel like it's not the right one for your person. I'm like trying not to put my head in the freaking camera. I like did not know how much my, um, like face was getting into the reading last time. All right. Spirit, please tune me into pile number one's person. Get a sip of water also. I'm very curious to see. I'm invested in the story now. Yeah, I and mean, in your thoughts, I really do think you are focused on your own healing and like moving forward. And it's like, I think you guys are right now probably, like you guys have pulled your energy back from this person for sure. And I feel like you're thinking like, there's this part of you that's almost like if this person even tried to come back and like be annoying, like I'm prepared to like put them in their place. So for some of you, you guys might want an apology, but it also could be like wanting an apology so you can kind of be like, yeah, like you suck, you know? Um, that's for some of you, you know? It's just like no matter what, even if this person did come back with like an apology, I just feel like you're still standing strong honoring how this person's made you feel and honoring like your position what you deserve um yeah all right let's see pile number one's person spirit what are their thoughts currently about We have the tower in reverse. Yeah, I feel like I feel like there's been quite the situation here. This is this doesn't feel like someone you would have just met. So, um, yeah, I'm getting that this is like a situation. I, yeah, it turned sour, and I'm seeing Olivia Rodrigo's sour album again. So, yeah, okay. What else is Palmer One's person thinking? This is just too many about to out oh my god okay this person this there's like a i feel like this person really wants to talk right now okay what are their current thoughts about spirit two of cups in reverse yeah this definitely feels like a separation or a break or breakup like not being on the same page what is pal number one's person's thoughts about we have the world and we have the queen of cups also okay that there ten of cups in reverse five of swords yeah I definitely feel like there's tension in this connection um but I do feel like your person's thoughts are are actually about not wanting not being over the situation um and I'll put it into context but like I just feel like with the queen of cups this person is thinking about you and is thinking about um the good qualities that you have, the fact that you are nurturing, caring, um, kind, intuitive, like that's what they're thinking about you as a person. And they're thinking about how things got messed up with you. And with the world and tower in reverse, there's a sense of resistance towards accepting where things are at, but they're definitely, they're definitely thinking a lot about, um, they're thinking about how, if I tune into it, it's almost like this person might be used to almost drama in their love life or something because there's almost a sense of, I know we're not on the same page or we broke up, but I know it's also not the end or like not really accepting that if things got messed up, like with the Ten of Swords in the Tower, like if this person's not really fully processing just how final this could be. How is pile number one's person feeling? 
The high, yeah, high priest is in reverse. Mm -hmm. How are they feeling, spirit? Pile number one's person. Four of cups in reverse. How's pile number one's person feeling? Two of pentacles. I don't, I don't like this energy. Sorry, I like hate, I, okay, I'm gonna, don't know what just happened there, but sometimes I, I don't want to say I don't like this energy because it's like a judgment and that's not me thinking that that's the best thing to say, but it just kind of comes out sometimes, but I, I'm questioning this energy, let's say that, because I feel like with the high priestess in reverse, it's like this person is, it, it, they feel out of touch to me, like, there's this feeling here of them not figuring it out like it, and so I understand like the frustration on your side with the feelings because it's like if it feels like there is some sort of door open because we have death in reverse we have the tower in reverse the world in reverse so I wonder if like you could have left it in a position where it's like this person it's like the ball is maybe in their court to do something but like you maybe drew a line or um, put up a boundary with them but I feel like with the three of cups like the two of discs there's a sense here of them focusing on their day-to-day -day priorities and not being super in touch with their emotions with the four of cups being in their emotion position and with the high priestess it's like this energy of being out of touch with self out of touch with this this person may honestly be less developed like spiritually and they might just yeah they might I'm getting like a lower vibration than your vibration and I feel like there's just this it, it's almost like there's a lack of an ability to really process or it's like they don't have the capacity to understand the situation, to understand your perspective, to understand the gravity of things. There's someone who's too nonchalant or too, um, it, there's a carelessness to this person. Yeah, where... It's like, especially being someone that is intuitive and it feels like on your side with the Queen of Cups coming out, like you guys probably resonate with being very sensitive to other people's emotions. And so it's coming through right now. Is, and I'm sure you guys have thought about this before is like, as we continue to develop and if you identify as being a more sensitive, intuitive type, you, you kind of realize that other people like aren't as aware of you as you're aware of them. Like, it's almost like, like, whereas you guys might pick up on what a person wants or needs or or what's going on with them without them even having to say anything. But I feel like this kind of, is the kind of person who, like, out of sight, out of mind, which... Oh, my dog is crying outside the door. Okay, I'm going to let him in one second. Hi, Ko. What you doing? What you doing? You want to come in here? He just proceeds to stare at me out there and doesn't move so okay um yeah it's coming through like that and it's coming through like they don't have a plan or it's like they don't they know that things aren't resolved okay yeah what I'm getting here with the tower in reverse there's this energy where like you know how when someone hurts you and like you cared about them and you know that like you were giving more and like you you know your value and it's like when someone is actually like like phony or like kind of um sometimes it's hard for us to realize other people's perspective because we project our own onto others and so I feel like there's a situation where this person they would rather live in ignorance like they would rather okay let me finish my statement sorry when I'm like all over the place what I'm trying to say is that you know when we feel like we're gonna teach someone a lesson and because if someone did this, if you did, if you were in their shoes and they, you maybe did the same thing to someone else, like you would feel differently about it. And it'd probably shatter some idea of how you see yourself and like how you see, like you reflect on things. And, and this person is doing everything they can to ignore their, like anything that would trigger them into deeper 
personal work, deep, deeper work within themselves, like spiritual lessons. It's like with the three of cups at the back of the deck, there's this casual energy of this person where it's like they're not understanding the weight of things. And it's kind of that sad energy of like, and I'm hearing like the Taylor Swift song, you never love me or her or anyone or anything. Um, I knew you were trouble when you walked in. That's what I'm hearing. Cause it's kind of that energy of like, if you like, what are you like this person's like baffling, honestly, cause it's like, it's just so different from you. And there's a sense of them almost, I'm not getting like an overly, like, it's not like they want you to suffer. It's like, not like a really bad vibe. It's more of a vibe of like, it, like sort of an ignorance and wanting to live in your own world or like not it's like someone who's more egoic and more focused on themselves so it's like their worldview it's like very related to them and let's say someone else like says something to them where it's like if we're more sensitive and like this person's more in their lower chakras essentially is what I'm getting um so they're not as tuned into their heart chakra or their uh third eye it, or the highest chakra. So it's almost like they're lacking a deeper understanding of like human, like like psychology even, or <clears throat> it's like they don't seem to really understand like we are all one and our actions impact others. It's almost like this feels like someone who kind of lives for themselves and doesn't, it's like root chakra related and like doing how they, what, what they feel they want to do and like what suits their ego with the solar plexus. <clears throat> and I feel like you're like a deep, much deeper person than that. And so maybe this person usually does connect with people that are more surface level. There's a surface level energy to this person. And, and a comfort zone with that. It's not that they can't go deeper. It's that they, in they're not open to it and they're they're out of touch with themselves so it's like how are they feeling they're out of touch with their feelings they're just trying to focus on what's in front of them all right what are and I might honestly I was gonna do what I wanted for the extended but I, I'm thinking I might do individual extendeds for every pile just so we can get into what you need to know most um yeah because especially for these groups where it's just like this person ugh, like I want to give them less airtime, but I know it's still helpful to like hear these things and get this confirmation. So what does pile number one's person currently want when it comes to pile number one? What do they want? What are their intentions? What do they want? We have justice. Okay. What does pile number one's person want? We have the Hierophant in reverse. I'm getting like such a cringe from this person, but anyways, um, okay. What what does pile number one's person want? The cherry in reverse, yeah. So what I'm getting here, six of wands. Like this person is so like, they care a lot about what they they are in their ego, you guys. Um, but what I'm getting here with justice and the higher in reverse, like this really bothers me because I feel like this person almost feels like they didn't do anything wrong or like there's just this energy here of with the higher in reverse, I'm, I'm getting this feeling like, like, especially if you weren't like in a committed relationship with this person or if this person is finding a way to justify the balance in this connection, especially for those of you that are like, this person maybe like led you on or like maybe you guys never specifically agreed to like being exclusive or being in a relationship. I feel like this person is saying like things to themselves like it's it's fair like what I have done in the situation. Like I feel like they're trying to justify the situation to themselves. Um, But yeah, with the chariot in reverse... I like this is the kind of person where if they actually are in a situation where they are the person that maybe is supposed to take accountability and maybe take action, they do everything they can to twist the situation around in their mind where at, where it's like not their fault. And like so and if anything, they feel the one they feel like it's unfair to them even like they have the audacity to like go. It's unfair that this person thinks that I'm being unfair like and the chariot reverse is like 
yeah, this person really lacks the ability to be honest with themselves, be honest. They have like layers of ego, like that block them from being fair in situations and taking accountability. Like, and there's even this energy that I'm getting where it's like, okay, pile number one, like thinks that like, I'm the bad guy in the situation. Like, that's so unfair. Like, um, because of that, like, I'm not going to do anything. Like, why would I? Like, that's not fair. Like, I'm not going to like, this person doesn't think that they ever should be the person that has to admit they're wrong and like do something about it. They're like, okay, in that case, like we just have different values then. And there's kind of this energy here where it's like in order to protect their ego to still feel right. I feel like I'm really like kind of ripping this person a new one. But with the two of cups, I was also getting that in order to protect their vision of like themselves and like their value, especially if whatever's happened here, like very clearly shows that something was unfair or painful to you. They they don't even they they lack the empathy and capacity to process that they may have hurt someone. And so they want to protect their image of themselves. And with the two of cups in reverse, there's kind of this energy of like, well, we just don't see eye to eye or like our values just don't align. And like, that's why things have been able to move forward. It's not because I might have personally done something wrong. Does that make sense? It's like the way this person avoids that is by going, oh, well, we just don't see eye to eye or like we you know, we aren't, you know, on the same page. And and this person even could think that like justice is like them not moving things forward with you. Like, I feel like this person is maybe thinking that that's the best thing they can do in the situation. Let me see what I can clarify. Why is justice here? The three of pentacles. Why is the chariot five of wands reverse? Why is the chariot in reverse? The full reverse. I feel like there's an energy here of like this person thinking that they actually like work well with others or something. Like there's just this energy of um Oh my gosh, this is so annoying. I, I, there's an energy here of this person feeling like they need to be in control. And it's like, there's this feeling of, um, like they could be projecting onto you that you are like being like, this gives me like such a toxic masculine masculinity vibe, but they don't have to be a man. But I'm just getting, it's kind of this energy of like, you're not going to tell me what to do. Like I define my own rules and like, with the three of pentacles, it's like, it's almost like this person thinks that by you maybe, like this is just makes no sense. So it's hard for me to talk about, but it's like, they almost feel like they want you to see that they have been fair or like they have been balanced with you. Okay, can we clarify the Hierophant in reverse? They think that there doesn't deserve to be like a fight. Prince of Cups in reverse, Six of Cups in reverse. Okay. Again, Wheel of Fortune reverse. It's like this person. It's like they feel, they never feel like things are their fault with the Wheel of Fortune. And then the Prince of Cups. It's like when it comes to their past. They, I feel like this person does have a history of just like not taking accountability and kind of leaving messes behind because with the Prince of Cups in reverse and the Six of Cups, this is giving me this energy of someone who may come off in the beginning like, you know, romantic or they might like love bomb. I feel like I'm getting this person might love bomb a lot. And then when things don't go, when things turn sour, it's like they blame it on like external factors rather than themselves. And so I'm getting here with the, chariot in reverse it's like they don't want to have to take control of the situation and bring balance to it they'd rather just tell themselves that it's not their fault or something this person prefers to be like in this fool I just think this person doesn't think through their actions very well it's like they're not a very intentional person 
And it's like they don't realize how their actions may impact other people and their feelings. And it's like they may just be thinking, oh, like, this is my freedom. Like, I, like, I never said I... This person just, like, not the great person to be in a relationship with because they're just very self-centered um, to, to, a, to in a subconscious way. Like, this person doesn't think they are. Subconsciously, they are, though. Can we get that? Can we get another one? No, we already clarified it. I'm, I'm actually going to stop trying to understand this, but... Can we just get one more for the Three of Pentacles? You're the hangman. Yeah, it's like this person wants you to have a different perspective. It's like they think that you just need to adjust your perspective, which is just so oof, frustrating. Um. Okay, let's let's get some just overall guidance now, or just like whatever else spirit wants to say. You know what? I'm thinking for the um for the extended, I really want to validate like your experience with this person. So I feel like what would be interesting to look at is like like cuz I feel like you could feel crazy or like gaslit even. Just like I I want to do an honest accounting of this person's behavior towards you, what their energy truly is so you can really see that. So we're just going to do a deep dive into spirits like like what actually happened here behind the facade so it's like what facade did or what did this person show you versus what was what what were they really energetically like so you can kind of see that difference um and then we will we can also look at what you're learning in this situation um we can also see what this person's next actions will be if there are any just so you can be prepared and then we'll finish off with some advice so yeah okay Spirit, just to finish out this reading, what do you want, Pile? Yeah, I see not for you building blocks. Like, I don't think this person builds, they build towers with people based on like non-truth. Like, they, yeah. Okay. What advice do we have for Pile number one? We have TikTok in reverse. We have Between Worlds. We have happy, happy in reverse. One more. We have exchanging gifts. Okay. And then all that glitters. Not surprised to see this at the back of the deck. I feel like what Spirit is saying, um, I, there's a sense here of just like wanting to be there already or get there already. Um, and what that is, it might be different for all of you. Like it could be when it comes to the love, like you guys... You guys may feel, because with the TikTok in reverse and like the Knight of Swords, there could be an energy here of feeling like you're in a rush to get to a certain kind of relationship. Um, but it may be that you're, you guys are currently going through transi a transition in life. Um, but there's just this essence here of feeling like, why can't I be happy or like, why can't things work out for me? Um, and with exchanging gifts, Okay, this is what I'm getting. It's like because you you guys may really want a situation to work out, um, you guys may like overgive. And then because of that, like and, and because that's an energy that you might be in, it, it could be drawing in like these all that glitter situations that seem really good on the surface. And it's like, okay, yes, like this is it. This is gonna move quickly. This is gonna be, you know, this is gonna be a happy relationship. And then it's like I feel like you get caught in this trap of like. But I feel like you guys are on to this, especially with what I was picking up from your energy. I feel like this might be a last straw, this person. But I do think what Spirit is saying is maybe to reflect on what could have, what energies could have attracted you to this person or caused you to miss certain red flags with them. Why did you feel like overgiving was a good thing to do here? And how can we prevent? Because when, when we feel like, because TikTok in reverse, when we feel like there's a time scarcity, like that is a scarcity mindset. And when we're in a scarcity mindset, we're prone to giving our energy to things that don't deserve it because we don't realize that we have abundance. And so I feel like there's this energy here, Spirit, wanting you to tune into realizing that there, there's some inner work to do. Yeah, and I'm seeing it's like from the black and white to the color. And I feel like you guys are feeling just tired of maybe 
just like feeling crappy like and you're just like when is this going to get better and I feel like spirit's saying it's going to get better when you start to go a little bit more inward and you guys if I don't want to say start the more that you guys see this external relationship as a reflection of your own internal energy that's the way that we fix it at the root and so it's like it could even be thinking that the only way you'll be happy is is like by finding a partner or thinking that or maybe your validation and value lies in someone else needing you. Whatever it is, there's just a sense here of uh, spirit wanting you to know you're in a transition or transitionary time right now and there is no rush. You're not behind um, and your happiness is to be found through a slightly different mechanism than I think the way it's going right now. And I think you guys are on to that. I think you guys are um figuring that out already but it's almost like you guys will see how it's going to be a lot easier to avoid people like this the more that this balances out internally if that makes sense so that's what i have um if you guys want these readings to resonate with you more in the future i recommend hitting the like button leaving a comment subscribing Number one, because it supports my channel, but it also is a form of energy transference and exchange, and it helps me better pick up more specifically on your situation for future readings. So I'll take it into the extended now for those of you that are interested. And other than that, I hope you guys are having a great day. Um, it's great to connect with you, and I hope to connect with you again sometime soon. Hello, pile number two. Welcome to your reading. If you chose, I think it's Breeze, Third Eye Tarot, Brittany. I don't know. I'll have it linked down below. And if you also chose the Blue Calcite Palm Stone, this is going to be your reading where we're looking at you and your person. We're going to be doing your side of things on the left and your person on the right. We're going to be looking at thoughts, feelings, and desires. So pretty standard reading. I've been enjoying doing this you them format. I find it like the most entertaining for me too. So let's get in. Pile number two spirit. What are pile number... Oops. Okay, how is pile number two currently feeling or currently thinking about this connection, the connection that's most prominent on their mind? Please tune me into the energy of this connection for pile number two. What is on pile number two's mind when it comes to their person and the connection? We have the four of swords. We have the seven of swords in reverse get this in a better position what's on pile number two's mind through the four of wands okay so We have two fours here. So I feel like there's this essence of trying to create stability within yourself and within this connection with this person. And it could have to do with a foundation that you have with them. But with the seven of swords in reverse, I'm kind of getting either you or your person could have been running from this connection or... Yeah, because I'm really getting this as like a running away from these swords. The usual seven of swords is someone holding the swords and trying to get away with it. But it feels like there could have been some sort of discussion. Maybe some truths have come out or like there's there's this energy of no longer maybe running away from what needs to be brought up in this connection. Um, and it could also even be within yourself. So I need to get more for more context. Um. But yeah, there's an energy here of like evaluation of tr with the four of swords. This is you trying to figure out where like what your thoughts are about this connection. I've never seen what is that? Something hanging off of that. But 
there's an energy here of recuperation and, and figuring out your like get giving yourself a break mentally but also so you can gain more clarity but yeah okay so how does pile number two feel right now about their person <clears throat> We have the chariot. We have the nine of swords. Okay. So a lot of thinking going on for sure. And then one more, please, for how pile number. And this is like future oriented, especially with this chariot. Yeah, and I'm getting that, honestly, because it feels like there's this energy here of needing to take a step back to move forward and like maybe needing to address something or within yourself or with this person but it's like we're we're getting more clear on like the foundation of this or we're just getting more clarity but but also there's a lot of stress at the same time so and I'm not sure if it's the seven of swords in reverse if uh, let's we'll get into it okay one more for how pile number two is currently feeling about their person Okay, we have the Ace of Cups, and I wasn't sure if this is wanted to be, I think it wants to be upright, but yeah, I think it it's upright. Okay, so I feel like Okay, I'm getting a couple of things. So for some of you, like I wonder if when you think about this connection and this person, like you guys might be afraid that you are deluding yourself or not seeing things clearly with them. Um, it's like, I think you want this connection. I think you want a solid foundation with this person. I think you want like happy times with them. And with the Ace of Cups, it's like, I, I think you want to move forward in this, but you have some sort of fears holding you back. Um, but they don't seem to be it seems to be in your head. Like you guys might be getting in your head a lot when it comes to this person and how to move the connection forward. You guys might be afraid of messing things up. And this could also be your person side and it could be reversed, but I just wanted to mention that for this group. Like just, if this sounds more like your person, just take it that way. But um, yeah, there, there could even be like a slight fear of, is it vulnerability? It's like, it's like not wanting to mess things up. That's the biggest thing. It's like you want things to be happy, solid with this person, but there's just this fear of, of like getting off balance and messing things up or like sabotaging the connection even. What does pal number one, two want when it comes to this connection? We have the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, I just want to make sure. In view. Okay. What does pile number two want when it comes to this connection? We have the Page of Cups in reverse. What does pile number two want? We have the Sun. I, okay, so I feel like with the sun here, like it's it's reiterating that you want a happy future with this person. You want there to be more clarity. I feel like you want to get out of your head and to be able to see things more clearly. But there is this sense also. I wonder if some, okay, this is just a message for some of you, but I'm wondering if you guys like struggle with self-trust because it could be that you're afraid that like you want to move things forward, but you might still be afraid in some capacity because maybe you're afraid that you're not seeing the situation clearly, especially with the nine of pentacles in reverse and the page of cups in reverse. Like for me, this energy, this gives off sort of a, um, maybe in the past, you guys could be in this current energy. You guys just put it to context for yourself. 
but maybe you guys are afraid of like being naive or like dependent on another person again is what I'm hearing or um, you might that might be something you're working on. And so I feel like there's this energy you have where like you want things to move forward and be happy, but you don't want to move about it maybe in a way that you've moved about it in the past. Like you don't want like I feel like you want to be in control more or yeah, yeah, that's what I'm getting. And I'm, I I am getting, I feel like this for a lot of you might be like a newer situation or if it's not a new situation, it could be like a repeating person or a person from the past. But I'm just getting here that you don't want a situation where you aren't reading it correctly. Like that's the biggest thing I can get. Um, Because yeah, with the Four of Swords here, you still could be healing or processing, still finding your own stability, but maybe there's a connection that feels important to you. So it's like, you, there's a need to trust yourself that you're not naive or that that you can trust yourself that's the biggest thing I, I'm getting is like this feels like a relationship where you're meant to where you might be pro like projecting old situations onto it being afraid it's going to happen again is like mainly what I'm getting okay so it could be the same person it might be different for all of you guys okay what deck do I want to use for their energy Okay, I'm going to use this deck. All right, let's tune into your person's energy now. Spirit, please tune me in to call number two's person. I feel like you really, I feel like you're an optimistic person is what I'm getting. Or like you guys, you guys might fall in love easily or just be like a romantic is what I'm getting. Um, and like this is something you know about yourself. So it's just, there's just this energy here of like, I want to be able to be optimistic and happy, but I also don't want to be codependent and naive and like not see things, like seeing everything through rose into glasses. So it feels like you're kind of balancing that energy. I feel like you are also focused on wanting to build like a strong home or like foundation community in your life. And like, you want to have people you can rely on and trust. Um, and so it's just kind of this matter of reestablishing self-trust before we can trust other people too. All right. For pile number two's person, what are their thoughts about pile number two and the connection? We have nine of swords in reverse. Okay. So it's overthinking, <laughs> but potentially, yeah. Okay. What is pile number two's person's thoughts? Five of pentacles in reverse. Okay. I'm interested. This is interesting. Um, what are pile number two's person's thoughts? Please, hear it. Two of pentacles in reverse. Very, okay, so your person, I, you guys might be mirroring each other in some capacity, but I, there's just this feeling here of like stress on their end. And I need to get into their feelings because I need to see how relevant this is actually to the situation or whether or not both of you guys are like projecting fears onto this connection. It, it might be that you guys are mirroring each other and both kind of projecting fears for what might happen. And like maybe assuming you're going to be abandoned or something like because it feels like that's like these thoughts are like feeling either feeling abandoned. Um. And it's like the thoughts are, fe yeah, feeling like you guys have similar concerns, though, because it's like with the two of pentacles in reverse, to me, that's like prioritization and making sure that you're balanced within your priorities. And so this person could be thinking about maybe they're afraid to be overly invested or they might be, yeah, they might be afraid to invest in love. But I'll see, because this is more for those of you that this is like a newer connection. But let me get some more. Okay. For pile number two's person, how are they, how are they feeling towards pile number two in the connection? Okay. We have ace of wands. Yeah. Again, we have another ace. So more pointing towards either a new connection or a renewal of connection. So it could be that if this is a renewal, they could be thinking about what happened in the past with you guys. Um, if you're rekindling something and they might be anxious of the same thing happening or this person also has wounds that they're still working on if this is a new person but they feel like a spark with you but there's just they're trying they're trying to let go of their fears around 
being abandoned. Yeah. Like being left out, um, not being prioritized is what I'm hearing. This person has a fear of like not being prioritized. What else for pile number two's person's feelings? We have the eight of pentacles in reverse. Then this did come out. The hermit. I saw it for a second. I'm just going to. Okay. What are pile number two's person's feelings? The wheel of fortune. Yeah. Okay. So this person is in this energy where they're afraid they're yeah okay so there's this energy here of like feeling actually very there's a mirrored energy um you guys might be more similar than you realize with this person because it's like this energy with the eight of pentacles in reverse where it's not like they don't want to put the work in with you it's that they have like a it's that energy of like wanting something so much that like you're afraid you're gonna mess it up so you don't start you know it's like procrastination because of and then there's this energy here like I feel like I used to get the eight of pentacles in reverse when I wanted to start a tarot channel but I was like procrastinating because even though I wanted to do that and I thought it'd make me happy like there's a part of me that was going well what if it didn't work out so and it's kind of like a perfectionistic energy where it's like all or nothing like like I'm I'm so afraid of this going wrong that like I can't even take the first steps um that's where they're at right now, but they fe but they feel a spark with you, a passion towards you, but there's this, there's the deeper mistrust of the universe. Like this person has all, like literally there's a similar vibe. Like they, they feel afraid of things going wrong and like no matter, yeah, this person's lost self-trust as well. They've lost trust also in others is what I'm getting. Um, wow. Okay. So what does pal number two's person want? We have the world. We have the king of swords. What does pile number two's person want? Queen of swords. Ooh, okay. So I feel like this person... So they want to go about this in a very logical way. Like this person is kind of in this energy where they feel like similar to you though, where it's like, I don't know, for some of you, by the way, if you guys are still in this sort of energy where you kind of want to just jump into things and like, maybe you guys do have a little bit of a streak of being like, like not in a bad way, like, but just like dreamy, kind of like a lover that like jumps right in and, and just wants to see the positive in everything. You know, like, I don't know how far you guys are in that energy, but this person has an energy where they cope with, you guys have similar fears though. So I'm wondering if you guys cope with your fears by not seeing setbacks. Like maybe you guys just want, I don't know, this is a, I'm picking up on this kind of randomly, but there's an energy here where maybe when you're feeling like similar fears to this person, you guys might just respond to it differently. So you guys might soften the situation by being extra like not even like childlike but just like not wanting to take it too seriously but like like it doesn't I, I don't know I don't I'm not getting that you're taking an overly logical approach I think that you guys have fears of things going wrong but you guys are maybe more proactive when it comes to solving those fears so you guys might like want more clarity in the situation more time with this person I don't know I'm just getting kind of a different approach but with this person they want a future with you with the world they want to they want to they want to figure out what both of you guys want and then they want to like logically work towards it if that makes sense and they want yeah this person I feel like may need like verbal like conversations around where both you guys are going or um yeah that's what I'm kind of getting and, and I and I think there's an energy here because maybe in the past this person has dealt with more of like maybe jumped in more sp spontaneous that's the word I'm getting I feel like you guys might get extra spontaneous it depends on where you guys are at right now but I think you you guys regardless are aware of maybe sometimes your need to slow down and separate yourself from a situation so you know what you think about it and making sure that you're not like no one else is lying that there's no like deceit in the situation even self-deceit 
And so you guys are focused on that, but I think your natural tendency might be toward being more spontaneous and just seeing where things go. Um, and, and I think this person is more like, I, I need to do like, they're afraid to jump in or do things on a whim because they really want things to work out. So both of you guys really want things to work out, by the way. Like, I think you guys also, if you guys could just know each other's fears a little bit more, I think you would trust each other a lot more. Um, but yeah, I think this person thinks about even being like left out from you, not prioritized. They feel like there is a passion with you. They want things to, to go all the way. They want everything, but there's just this energy of, um, not wanting to trust it. It's a lack of trust. And so, okay. Yeah. So I'm just trying to explain this is like, I feel like some people when there's a lack of trust or like a lack of confirmation in the situation, the way we can cope with that is by putting rose tinted glasses on because even though it seems counterintuitive sometimes like maybe we had a parent where we had to just see the best in them and so we overlook red flags some other people are turn more like logical but they where you guys might be experiencing the same fear but it just expressed differently so it's like some people then might be like more avoidant you know so i'm getting like almost anxious versus avoidant a little bit um but I think you are aware that you don't you don't want to get yourself wrapped up in anything like where you where you're being lied to or anything like that, because these are in your conscious thoughts. <clears throat> but at the same time, you guys are optimistic. You just want things to be happy. You just want to kind of move forward with the chariot. And I feel like you do think that you guys can move through whatever concerns there are with within like the chariot. I feel like the chariot is going right through the nine of swords to the ace of cups where it's like. I think you guys are very motivated to work through this and work through your fears. And I think this person is a little bit more withdrawn and fearful because of their, um, their fears. Like that's expressing in a way that's like, I'm kind of afraid to put more energy out. I'm kind of afraid to do anything. There's like less action on their end. It feels like because while they want things to work out, they could pull back if there's a sense of like too much emotionality because like they're afraid that that might remind it might remind them of something else essentially but yeah this person doesn't want they want to have just like a logical conversation with you where you guys figure out this person's kind of trying to reduce it to logic where it's like okay what are you looking for like like boundary need set like speaking about needs and like they think that's going to be the formula to success and like where you it's kind of like can we just dr drop our guards and just like hang out you know <laughs> like I, that those are the two energies that i'm getting so um what was i gonna say <sighs> sorry i'm having just like a mental blank but anyways this is like kind of what i'm getting i want to get some guidance um from some oracle cards but i do want to say that if this has been resonating um, if you do want these readings to be more specific for your situation through hitting the like button, leaving a comment, subscribing are all ways that I'm better able to connect with your energy. So it also supports the channel. So I appreciate you guys that are doing that. Um, and then we're going to be doing an extended for this group. I want to look at, I want to go more deep into this. I feel like this is a developing situation. Hmm. I want to look at where, where this, where your person sees this connection going. Like, what is this world? Like, what are they imagining your future could be? How do they see the f potential of the future? I want to be looking at this person's next actions or next energy in the connection, what you can kind of expect. I'll be getting you, I want to get you messages from this person for sure. Um, cause I feel like communication could be a little bit shaky right now just cause of the fears. Um, yeah. Okay. What advice do we have as of right now for pile number two before we go into the extended? All right. We've cleaned it up in reverse. We have happy, happy. We have co-create. Yeah. Okay. And exchanging gifts. So there's a huge, not huge, sorry. 
Um, Spirit's saying, be very, very careful when it comes to this person that you aren't um, neglecting your own work to focus on them. Because I feel like you guys maybe have a tendency to feel like you have to work for your, to be loved or like you, you may just be very used to focusing on other people or feeling like the responsibility is on your end. But Spirit's really warning you to not clean up someone else's side of the street, to focus on yourself and your own baggage, whatever you're working through and to let this person do that themselves. Um, yeah, and with exchanging gifts in reverse, it's the same message. It's about what, making sure that there's equal give and take and, and watching out for any tendency that you might have to overgive to compensate for like fear. Like, cause I'm getting you guys might be the type to like overgive when you're feeling like unsure in a situation. This person's the type to undergive in when they're feeling unsure. So with co-create here though, I feel like spirits almost even saying this within relationships, but it, it does have the um idea of like co-creating with spirit. But with the chariot here, I feel like spirit's just saying that like you don't need to like drain yourself or like struggle in a relationship. So like if something isn't moving forward, it's kind of like releasing control and trusting that like what's for you is for you and like you're I feel like you're on the path to happiness right now and I feel like Spirit's just reminding you that what's for you won't miss you and you can relax a little bit more and you don't need to, you know, you don't need to figure this person out. Like you you don't have to do this person's work for this to be successful. And that would not be, that would be draining for you. So I feel like Spirit's just saying to focus on your own happiness right now um, and to trust that you can have a relationship be successful without having to overgive and take control and like manage things essentially. So yeah, that's what I have for you guys. Um, I hope this was helpful. Um, again, if you guys are able to hit the like button, leave a comment, subscribe, that's a great way for us to exchange energy and for, um, the readings to be more accurate to your specific situation. So I hope that you guys, you got something out of this. Um, I hope that you guys are having a good week so far and I hope to connect with you guys again sometime soon. Hello, Heil number three, welcome to your reading. If you chose the Light Sears Tarot with this glean, glean, this green fluorite palm stone, this is gonna be your reading where we're looking at you versus them in regards to thoughts, feelings, and desires slash intentions. So it's a pretty standard reading. Of course, the left side should resonate with you. You can use that as an energy check-in and it hopefully should give you a good idea um, or confirmation that it um, this is a reading about the person that you are thinking of. Okay, Spirit, please tune me into pile number three. There will be an extended reading, by the way. We're going to be doing a different one for every single pile, so stay tuned for what we're going to go into for this pile. I just want it to be what's most useful to you guys, catered to your individual situation. All right, let's get a couple more shuffles in. Pile number three, Spirit. Tune me into the situation that is weighing on them or that they want the most clarity on. What are their current thoughts about this person and this connection? What are they thinking about? The King of Swords. The Knight of Cups. Do the Seven of Swords in reverse. Okay, I feel like for some of you, you are... You want to know, I think you're thinking a lot about, you, you, you're you being practical about this with the King of Swords here, with the Knight of Cups, but I feel like what you're thinking about is this person's intentions towards you. Um, 
with the seven of swords in reverse here i'm just getting an overall energy of you want to know what this person's well obviously obviously um because you're here and you are trying to figure out this information but i'm really getting that these are your thoughts about this person like what's on this person's mind like do they have feelings for me are they going to show their feelings for me um you might even be wondering if this person is like you feel like there's a lack of communication or you feel like something needs to come to light like I feel like you don't have a perfect read on this person um with the seven of swords in reverse like I feel like you want some sort of truth to come out and I feel like this is along like about this person's feelings um let me get some more information about your feelings we have the lovers on the back of the deck Okay, let me get some more and then we'll kind of go into more of each section. So how is pile number three feeling about their person? We have the four of cups. I'm hearing to sir with love right now, which is like super random. Um, if you wanted the moon, I would buy. This person could be older than you. Um... Okay, how is pile number three feeling about their person? We have the two pentacles in reverse. How is pile number... Sorry, I said pile number two, but pile number three. Okay. You guys could be waiting. You could be feeling like... Okay, so I'm what I'm getting here is with the queen of pentacles, it feels like you're kind of sitting in your worth here is how it feels. It feels like you... Just with this Queen of Pentacles, I'm getting this energy of someone who, like, you you feel secure to me in a sense. And so I feel like with the Four of Cups, it's like, are you going to give me more clarity? Because it's, it's almost like you're sitting unbothered, but the fact that you're at a reading means, like, you do want to know. But I feel like in your feelings, there's just this sense of, are you going to prioritize me or not? Like, I'm not interested in a situation where I have to guess all day long about your feelings for me. Like, I feel like you may even be waiting for this person to take some kind of an action towards you. Um, yeah, I feel like you aren't feeling prioritized in some sense. Or you may even feel like you don't want to overly prioritize this person. Let me get what you want and then we'll we'll get it all. So for pile number three, what what do they what do they currently want when it comes to their person? Yeah, we have six of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, it's like you don't want to give. So yeah, I'm definitely getting this energy where. Yeah, I'm just getting this really strong vibe from the Queen of Pentacles of like kind of holding your head high and not being interested in any kind of an offer that doesn't that does not mirror your what you deserve because yeah with the six of pentacles in reverse it's like you don't want to you're not trying to overgive in this situation um because kind of there's this energy here of like okay if you're not going to show me interest or if like especially if they're acting in this king of swords energy like Maybe this person is coming off like a little more cold. Yeah, we have the emperor at the back. Like they might be, they might not have made their feelings clear to you. And that could be the seven of swords in reverse. Like you could be thinking about, is this person going to come towards me and kind of drop this mask of being maybe like not disinterested, but just being like a king of swords where, you know, the sword suit is just not the most emotional or passionate um, it's kind of logical and so it can come off a little bit not romantic but the knight of cups is a very romantic energy and so the seven of swords next to it it's kind of like when are you gonna wait I'm hearing a song is it you can go your own way you can go your is that what it says I'm hearing it's like a your own way it's an older song is that what it's saying? You can go your own your own way. You guys, I'm gonna have to look it up. Um, I'm just hearing one part of it. You can go your own way. Okay, so it says, 
Okay. Loving you isn't the right thing to do. How can I ever change things that I feel if I could, baby, I'd give you my world. How can I when you won't take it from me? You can go your own way. You can go your own way. You can call it another lonely day. Um, tell me why everything turned around, packing up, shacking up is all you want to do. Yeah, that's the energy I'm getting here. Is this the song? Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can go your own way. Go your... Yeah, this is the song. So yeah, there's kind of like this energy of Fleetwood Mac go your own way where it's like... Yeah, so you maybe would give... Okay, you feel like you have a lot to give with this Queen of Pentacles. But there's a sense here of like... Especially with the Four of Cups, you might even be feeling like this person isn't showing you enough interest. And there's kind of this energy of like, okay, well, like that's your loss. But there is a level of interest, of course, because you're here. So with the Six of Pentacles in reverse, it's like, you're not trying to give more to this person. Or you would, but I feel like you don't want to be in a situation where someone isn't reciprocating or someone isn't showing obvious interest towards you because... I feel like you're, you have like, your standards are, a lot of your energy towards this person feels like it's a representation of you figuring out if, like, this is below your standard almost. It's like, you almost feel like it is if this person isn't gonna um, prioritize you essentially. Or, and it's like, almost if you're not going to prioritize me, I'm not going to prioritize you is the feeling. So what does pile number three want when it comes to... Um, this person, this connection, what do they want right now? What are their desires or their intentions? Five of Pentacles in reverse. What is pile number three? I feel like you also, maybe, maybe this person pushes you away a little bit or you feel like you can't. There's a sense here of unavailability or a feeling of like a wall being up. Um... So I feel like you want this person to come out of the cold for the first things first. Like, I feel like there's an energy here of like, it could be so much easier if you weren't making it difficult. Um, but let's one more for what pile number three is wanting, what they desire, what their intentions. Yeah, 10 of pentacles in reverse. It's like, there's this sense of, um yeah, knight of pentacles in reverse. I feel like there's sort of an impasse going on with the two of, yeah, look at that, the hangman underneath. The hangman, we have the two of swords in reverse and the knight of pentacles in reverse. This is a situation where I feel like you, this person is not giving you enough action. Like they're not, they're not giving you enough emotion, enough passion, even enough, um, especially with all pentacles. Um, there's a lot here about pentacles. So I feel like it could be, especially when it comes to like what this person's giving in the situation, like things that you can, like, for example, this person like showing up or asking you out things like that like in a practical sense I feel this isn't going somewhere and like that is bothering you because especially with the queen of pentacles you're the queen of pentacles over here so yeah it's like I think in a relationship it just feels that you do really value like actions more than words and it's like if a person isn't consistent and isn't showing up or like they're yeah that they if they aren't if they aren't around, like, especially the Seven of Swords, like, especially if you feel like this person is kind of, like, sneaks away or something, or, like, they're not showing up for you in a consistent manner, like, almost like a King of Pentacles, like, that would be your counterpart here. It's just, like, a frustrating energy with this person. I want to see, what is pile number three like about this person? We have King of Pentacles in reverse, interesting. Um, can we get one more for what they like? We have King of Cups. Okay. Okay, so for some of you... Okay, now I'm kind of, kind of getting an interesting dynamic here. So this could be... Maybe in the past you've dated people that were more materially... Um, this is interesting. What I'm getting here is like, I feel like this is a different kind of person from your usual type. Um, but, but given that it's almost like because of that, 
you know how we all kind of project like standards from past relationships or just we're just like we're creatures that learn from our experiences right and so we kind of expect similar things like I feel like there's this energy here where although it's almost like what you like about this person is also what's frustrating you and like what you want more of so it's kind of funny because I was saying it's like you want the king of pentacles but then the king of pentacles is in reverse with the king of cups so you could even feel like maybe you feel like there is a lot more emotion underneath this this king of swords exterior like yeah it's this energy of feeling like this person does have romantic feelings for you that run quite deep actually with the king of cups like you feel like there could be a lot of emotional potential but at the same time I feel like it might be driving you crazy because maybe they're not giving you like maybe the way that you feel recognized in a relationship is is more um like maybe you guys need like it's like acts of service or um quality time I'm just getting like in the physical I feel like you need to feel like the person's presence or like you want this person to take you out like maybe gifts are something as well but like you guys may just like your stability in a sense. So I feel like you just want this connection to go more in that direction. But I think something you do feel attracted to it for is is maybe more of there being an emotional element to it. That's kind of Scorpionic though, because I'm getting, um, yeah, because this is Scorpio with the King of Cups here. I'm trying to see if there's anything else. And we have all minor arcana. So yeah, th this is interesting. So to me, this feels... you guys I feel like you guys are thinking in very practical terms like is what I'm getting like there's a practicality to you guys I wouldn't be surprised if you guys have earth energy in your chart um yeah yeah I'm just getting like a certain standard that you have that this person is different from your usual type that's the best way I could describe this energy and so it's almost like I don't know if like the ways that I'm usually used to feeling like a person like feeling secure and, and loved in a relationship or feeling like a person's interested in me. It's like this person isn't really ticking those boxes, especially if you guys have. I don't know, maybe you guys are transitioning away from what you think you wanted because it just feels like there's themes around like long term family and tradition here where it's like. I don't know, maybe you grew up in a family where there was a m more specific traditionality or like what you expected a relationship to be like. And so I'm just kind of getting that, you know, maybe some of you actually do enjoy, maybe some of you are actually okay with exploring something else that's a little bit different, but then because that's what you're used to, it's like making you feel like, like, not happy almost or just like disappointed or um yeah it's just kind of giving the energy of someone with a certain high standard and and so I'm just wondering if you've communicated about this <laughs> me going into like a therapist mode but like anyways let's just get into your person we'll get the full picture and see what's going on so spirit please tune me in to pile number three's person Some of you guys also might even be like not thinking you might be questioning whether or not this person has genuine feelings for you or like if this is someone you should trust because they're not acting in ways that like again like previously made you feel more stable or comfortable in a relationship and so you might even be feeling that this person isn't interested but then at the same time you may know on some capacity with the knight of cups here that there there is some emotion here so yeah okay Spirit. Let's talk about pile number three's person. I'm very curious to see what comes through. Okay, what is pile number three's person currently thinking in regards to pile number three in this connection? All right, with the three of cups. Interesting. What are they thinking about? With the six of wands in reverse. What is pile number three's person currently thinking about? Okay, we have the four of wands or four of swords in the reverse. Okay, so three of cups and the six of wands. Immediately, I'm wondering if you guys have some kind of a shared um, community. Like maybe you guys have a shared friend group. Because with the six of wands in reverse and like the 
for me that makes me think of like the public or something and with the three of cups like this makes me feel like there may be some sort of a social setting where you see this person at and like there might be more than one like it might it's not maybe just you guys one-on-one -on -one. okay but what are they thinking about okay so I'm kind of this is like interesting but I'm kind of getting like this person maybe feeling burnt out right now in general with like the four of swords in reverse like maybe they feel like they have to keep up appearances with the king of swords here maybe you know that and that's something that like is coming through here um yeah this is an interesting energy there's almost this feeling of this person having to be like happy or something or having to be a certain person is like there's just like it feels like this person like kind of has like some kind of a persona um sorry I just messed up all the cards I don't know I wonder if you meet this person like maybe you guys have gone out or like you meet them maybe you guys drink together or something um one second but let me get the feelings we'll get the full picture to get more so what is pile number three's person's current feelings for pile number three and the connection what are their current feelings we have the eight of pentacles interesting we have the two of swords what are pile number three's person's current feelings you guys this is crazy seven of pentacles so this is wild so like the fact that this is interesting interesting okay so what i'm wondering here now something that's coming to my mind i'm just gonna say it and not like worry too much about the logistics but i'm kind of getting like i'm wondering if a part of you guys like are trying to not like is this non-traditional in some kind of a way or is there some sort of barrier to like does this go against the grain or is this like I don't know like I'm just kind of getting this energy where six of pentacles maybe this person does honestly have traits related to the pentacle suit but i'm wondering if maybe you don't feel like this person's prioritizing you or like it, it just feels okay this is what i'm getting it's like there's this barrier when it comes to being able to be honest and passionate with each other like i feel like that's kind of what is blocked in the situation and i feel like there's logic and earth suit here so but i feel like when it comes to you I need to get what they want, but I feel like there's some non-traditionality here. Um, then I'll read it all, though. So how are they feeling? They feel like they, they're thinking about it really practically. So that's, like, interesting. But there's this energy here of, like, I'm not sure what to invest my energy into. I think this person does have a lot on their plate. Um, I think that they are busy. I think that they are... I feel like this person like knows a lot of people or they could be popular not popular but um it's more like busy is the word that I'm getting knight of cups at the back of the deck interesting there's just this energy of I'm not sure where this is gonna go with pile number three so like they're not sure how they feel because with the two of swords here it's kind of this energy of like I feel blocked or like I'm not sure what to do in this situation. So what I'm going to do instead is kind of focus on like work and focus on my practical matters in life. And they're, they're trying not to delve too deep, honestly. Like in all honesty, I'm getting like they're trying not to delve too deep into the emotions or deeper aspects of the situation like they're they're keeping it a little bit surface level is how it feels but um what do they want what does pile number three's person want when it comes to pile number three we have the five of swords okay we 
We have the high priestess in reverse. That's what I'm talking about. High priestess in reverse. It's like, and I got this in pile one a lot. It's like this energy of being out of touch with yourself. And, and so that's why I was picking up. I'm not surprised to see it because it's this lack of um, being in tune with their emotions. So that's interesting that you're picking up that there's like this deeper layer of emotion. This person feels kind of out of touch with their emotions. And this energy of the King of Swords doesn't surprise me because there's this feeling where there it feels like there is denial. So if, you, if you've been wondering if like this person is like you've been thinking about like, are they in denial? Like, is this just a front kind of the way that they're acting more? like this king of swords and are they kind of hiding feel romantic feelings for me um i wonder if you guys even okay so one scenario i was picking up on was and maybe this is one group here that could be feeling like they're very much embodying this queen of pentacles energy and this person needs to show more effort towards you um for others of you, maybe some of you guys feel a sense of like you're not sure whether or not you're worthy of this person on a more practical level. Like maybe some of you guys aren't sure if you like have enough or something or like this person might be kind of for some of you might be it's more of an opposite energy where some of you might be feeling like if you were a certain way, like maybe this person would be more interested or something. Um yeah, but let me let me look. Okay, so let's get one more for what pile number three's person wants when it comes to pile number uh, three. What do they want? Okay, we have the Ace of Cups. This is a bizarre energy, you guys. Okay. Another situation I was picking up on was like, if some of you guys have had like a like longer term relationship with this person. Um, I don't know. There could be shared family here or something. This just feels like a very precar precarious situation. What I'm getting from this person, I feel like they're trying to keep up appearances to other people in their life right now. I feel like when it comes to their emotions, they're distracting themselves with practical things in their life. Um, when it comes to what they want, why is the five of swords here? We have the King of Cups. There could be this stubbornness where this person is fighting the depths of their feelings for you or like it might just be easier for there's an energy here where it might be like a coping mechanism to keep things kind of cold with the king of swords or to keep things kind of um like not on the best terms because i think this person in all honesty i think there are i think you're right that there are deeper feelings for you with the king of cups showing up and with the ace of cups but I feel like there's this energy of wanting to deny their intuition about the love between you. I feel like there's this energy. What they want is to kind of be in denial. So you, you guys with the seven of swords up here in reverse, like what you guys are thinking about is very accurate. Because I, I do feel like this person is taking on like a logical energy, but it's almost like not even logical. It's more like I am getting more of like a king of pentacles energy where they are they're more, they're trying to distract themselves by staying like in the present moment with things that they're doing and they're trying they're trying to downplay their feeling why are they trying to ignore their feelings for pile number three why are they why are they afraid or like why are they pushing this away their feelings why are they pushing their feelings away spirit we have the Tower and we have the Six of Cups. Okay, this could be a couple of things, but I'm first going to say this could be the way that they view relationships. Like this could be someone where in their childhood, maybe like their parents' relationship fell apart. Like they could have gone through like difficulties in that. 
And so they could have issues when it comes to love in general, where they might feel like they have a hard time trusting. They have the three of pentacles here. Like, yeah, they deny the truth for some reason. They have a fear around like trusting others and um, trusting in love here is what I'm getting. Maybe I need to look more at your energy too. But so what I'm getting here is like there is, there is a fear around either there's something that happened in their childhood that was pretty significant, that was pretty hurtful for them, and now they don't really trust their feelings because um, something was mirrored to them. Or if this is a really long-standing relationship, this could be something that happened in the past between you guys. And so with the Ace of Cups here, they may, especially if this is like a new like renewal of the situation it could be that they are trying to push that away because of being afraid of the past pain that's happened like they're afraid of things falling apart again um so yeah they've this person has a hard time this is someone who likes to keep things more surface level but it's not because they don't have deeper feelings or they're not capable of that it's because they have wounds and fears around relationships and I feel like with yeah with the five this is kind of like a coping mechanism the five of swords like I feel like this person it's like a self-sabotaging thing but it's also it's it's almost like they would rather be the one who's being more cold and and like less open so they're not the one that feels like they're they're defeated you know like this person doesn't want to feel like that and so they feel vulnerable when there's a situation where there could be deeper feelings. So this person's really trying to do what they can to avoid thinking about this. Yeah. Okay. But let me look back to you guys because I feel like I didn't get a perfect read on you. Maybe it makes more sense to you guys, but... All right. So your thoughts. We have the King of Swords and Knight of Cups. That makes sense. You're thinking about this person... In their feelings in your feelings yeah you feel like this person isn't prioritizing you because they aren't and again with the queen of pentacles here it's like i feel like you want to feel like this queen of pentacles either you guys already do feel like the queen of pentacles but you want this person to acknowledge you as that like there's this energy of like you don't deserve you don't get why this person is acting the way they are but it's because it's them not you it's like this person actually has blockages around expressing their emotions and being comfortable exploring their emotions so what do you want i feel like you want this person to see a future with you i feel like you want this person to realize that like you're worth giving to like i feel like you want to come out of the cold you want this to not feel this like sense of lack or like you want this person to see the vision you have, but I but I want to get a couple more clarifiers. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here for what they want? I'll get three. The Five of Wands. You so yeah, you want um to resolve maybe some sort of conflict. Um, yeah, I feel like you guys want to work things out with this person. Why is the Five of Pentacles in reverse? Nine of Wands in reverse. There's an energy here of like, I don't want to fight anymore and I don't want to hold this like guard up. Yeah, I feel like you guys, so again, there could be history in the situation or it could just be that you guys have this kind of weird dynamic with the five of swords where like there is tension and there is maybe intentional withdrawal where it's like this like annoying energy where you guys might both be kind of push like mirroring each other's energy back to the other and it's kind of making it worse um I hope that makes sense but I feel like deep down what you guys do want is to put down the swords to not be in this five sword situation to not be in this like combative like almost not like petty it might be kind of petty sometimes but it's it's more like being closed off and like no one wants to take the risk everyone's like just kind of being miserable on their own and not saying anything yeah Okay, that's what I'm getting for you guys. Let me um, let me get some clarifiers here. What should we go into? Also, you guys, if this is resonating for you and you want future readings to resonate um, more specifically to your situation, 
A way that I am able to pick up better on your energy is through energy transference. So by liking this video, commenting, subscribing, those are all ways that I am better able to tune into your energy and it also supports my channel. So I appreciate those of you that are doing that. But spirit, um, can we, can you clarify pile number three's person a little bit more? What do they need to know about pile number threes? Um, or what does pile number three need to know about their person? This situation with them, what's going on? We have deep knowing in reverse. Yeah, this person is denying their intuition for sure. We have the fates. What do they need to know about their person? We have time for a nap. Yeah, okay, so I am getting here. This person does seem like they are exhausted and they are overworking themselves. Um, so this person, if anything, needs to spend some time chilling out. We have higher power in reverse and orphan. Yeah, there's definitely like some kind of a separate, like there's a loneliness here, like a forced loneliness. But anyways, with the fates coming out, I feel like there's just this energy of resisting, resisting what is in this connection. Like there's a denial of reality, especially from your person. Yeah, that's the best way I could put it. So you guys are very right in that. And I feel like this person is putting like with the higher power in reverse. I feel like they're not in this energy where they're listening to where they're being guided to. They're they're more in a fear-based mentality of trying to control the situation with you and control not getting hurt, essentially. Um, and by, by ignoring their inner knowing. So yeah, there are deep feelings. So this is kind of confusing reading, but it's like, it's because there's layers to this. It's like there is this King of Cups energy, this person um but they aren't wanting to acknowledge that there's like a sense of denial okay so what should we look into for your extended let's see what your person would want to say to you so we'll pull tarot and get like a message from them and then we'll pull actual message cards we'll be looking at also what this person's energy is going to be like in the next few months like where how is this shifting what can you expect energetically from them, action-wise or energy, depending on what comes through? And then we'll be getting guidance for you on how to best move forward in the connection. And honestly, I like getting anything that your guides want you to know about this person. So like, what do you need to know about them and how to move forward? So if you guys want to join me there, I'll have it linked down below in the description box. But other than that, um, give it the video a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe if you want to see more Pick a Card readings. And I hope to connect with you again sometime soon.